Bonjour. Do you like home decor? Because that's what we are doing today. How do we feel about this outfit? It's giving 80s dad. I kind of love it. Daddy is a state of mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm your daddy. Huh? As you may know, I have moved into a new house with a bunch of old furniture from the previous owner. And I'm slowly organizing my things and putting things away. As I was doing that, I found the Halloween decoration. And the main room of this house is the living room and I'm trying to know what to do with it. And this is the living room, gigantic, with the best thing in the house, the view. <laughs> So, even though we are halfway through Halloween, this gave me a great idea, I think, I hope. The inspo for a cool, aesthetic, dark academia. Huh? Alors, c'est pas une bonne idée? Ouais, voilà. <laughs> If I kind of understand this theme is mixing up Victorian libraries with curiosity cabinets with a lot of dark colors, candles and old rugs. It's kind of goth, but also a bit whimsy or maybe I can make it whimsy. So I think it's the perfect idea for my living room because I have all this old furniture that I still need to figure out. And also I love random objects. I make random objects, probably too many. And now that I have space, I'm probably going to make even more of those. So I think this theme is perfect. But I've never done a room makeover. I've never had walls that are not white. So let's do a room makeover by myself. Wish me luck. <laughs> Today I have to do this room, the living room! We are moving furniture this weekend, so I have to do the walls and the floor. I already sent it the chimney. A few moments earlier. I don't know if you see it clearly, but there is this texture that I hate. I want it flat. Metal sander would have definitely been faster here, but it would have made a huge mess and I don't have the vacuum cleaner yet. And now let's do the walls, because if I do them first, I don't need to protect the floor because it's gonna be covered anyway, and I don't care. So I need to remove the wallpaper before I paint the walls. I've never done that before, we'll see how it goes. I have rented this machine that is supposed to help with uh, removing the wallpaper. You see, I tried it here and it was uh, not very much of a success. I've never used it, but I watched two YouTube videos, so I'm basically an expert now. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. The little cuts that I'm making are used to help the steam go through the paper and help just remove it from the wall because it softens the glue. It is tricky at first, but once you start getting the paper off the wall, it is so satisfying. This is literally steaming hot, so if you ever do this, just be careful because I kind of burned my fingers. <laughs> so, two hours later, I only did this corner. I need to refill the machine. But I think I'm going to go way faster if I don't do like the scraping with the knife. I understand that it is necessary on a wallpaper that is a bit Plastified. But this wallpaper is just paper, so the steam can go through it without having to do the scratches. So that's a good thing I learned. Also, there is a lot of steam, so I'm glad that I didn't do that in the summer. I'm sweating so much. But also, it really did open up my pores. So maybe now is a good time to apply some skincare. Anyways, little break, and then I refill the machine, and while it's heating up, I just have to put some tape on all over the electrical stuff to protect them from the... Water. And then I have to paint. Ooh.
deuxième couche. I am still not an expert at wooden floor, but I did learn a few things since the last room I did. And the first one is to protect your knees. I'm going full dad here. Next is to add more of those little blocks. They keep the wood away from the wall, that way the wood have some space to expand in case the temperature changes. Even though this laminate flooring don't expand much, but better be safe. I have to say that some of my cuts were pretty good. So the process of installing wooden floor is not very difficult. You can do a big room by yourself in a day, maybe even half a day. It's just installing these insulation sheets and then you can add the floating floors. They are water resistant and they will last for decades. I splurged and got myself this fancy tool that is very useful for all the tricky places. Oh yeah! You may be wondering why I only painted half of the room. That's because the other wall is raw concrete, so I needed a special primer for that that I didn't have yet. Same for the fireplace that I scrapped. Let's just fix that quickly. I did have a few issues where the plaster is showing and also on this and around the wooden parts where you can see where the plaster was kind of bleeding on the wood. It wasn't really visible when the wall was white, but with this green, you have like this white line, which is not great. I don't know my neighbors yet, so I'm installing a film for a little bit of privacy on this side of the house. Yes, I saw it on TikTok, but it actually works and it's very, very easy to install. Just stick it with water and soap and that's it. The rainbow effect is more subtle than I saw on the videos, but it still works and I like it. I give it a 7 out of 10. But then it was raining, so let's work on the inside of those windows. Matching these holders to the rods that they have. I just attached the curtains here and look, I don't need to do a hem. Yes! But the others are not the right size, so this is a sewing channel. Let's do a little bit of hemming. I tried to do some cable management at some point, so I'm going to use hot glue. And don't forget to hide your cables with some paint. C'est toi, hein? Mm. 
the big couch that we had in our previous apartment is actually a bit too big to fit nicely in this room so let's just cut it in half that's the good thing about uh, the ikea modular couches you can just change the configuration if you need to There isn't any unit that you can put here without taking uh, too much space. Because this is the corner, it's supposed to be a corner, so I'm going to find a way to cover this and make it all nice. I'm using the scraps of an old leather jacket and it matches almost perfectly. I couldn't do it in one piece, but I think it's good enough. I did it all myself. The underside is not very pretty, but that's fine. the garage. I want to change the chairs in the living room but until I can find uh, better ones I'm going to taste those. I don't say it enough but thank you so much to my Patreons. With your support I got the paint, the wood and the extra couch piece for this project. So thank you so much, you are the best. Rainbow of the day! Also heavy rain is coming. Again? Look how cool it is. Aha! In the bordel, I found a painting that I don't really like. So I'm going to take the frame and put it on this. So I just cut a piece of acrylic at the right size. It's a thin one that you can cut with a box cutter. And I have this big one, which I really like, and not just because my partner made it. He's an artist. The frame doesn't really match the theme, so, and it's too big. Look, I can hide easily behind it. So with this door trimming that I found at the hardware store, it's wood and it's not very expensive. So with that, I think I can make a frame somehow. <laughs> So, did it work? Yes. Is it pretty? Eh. But I've had these uh, corner embroidery patches for a while and I think I can cover... <laughs> I think I can cover my mess like this with a bunch of glue and then the paint should make it nice, maybe? <laughs> Let's try. Well, spoiler alert, uh, it didn't work so great. But I guess it's fine from afar. <laughs> I guess next time I will think about it a little more. We learn, we learn. And with all of this work done, let's finally assemble everything and put everything neatly where it belongs. And please ignore the projector and screen because uh, we needed that for the Eurovision night. Follow them. <laughs> it's dark academia, so let's just put some books in there. I'm trying to fit everything I have and stay on theme with all the objects that I have on hand. But some are just placeholders, especially the picture frames from the previous owner. 
and I want to change or customize a few elements, find a few things that are bold and whimsy and fun that kind of clashes with the rest, but this does look nice, but it's a bit too proper. Do you have maybe suggestions for fun things to add? Maybe like a, a pink flamingo or neon signs? I don't know. <laughs> I want to make it more me in the future. How about a giant rhinestone peacock? I should make that. Thank you.